Let's talk about the Simplicity Cycle Worksheet, one of the PDFs that accompanies this course. This worksheet provides you and your team with some space to sketch out your assessment, your situation, and your plan. To use it, start at the top and write something on the line labeled Topic. That's where you'll put the name of the project or sub-project you're working on. Maybe it's the onboarding process for your organization. Maybe it's the script for a product demonstration or a training session. Maybe it's the design for the next Mars rover. The blue box in the upper right corner of the worksheet asks three important questions. Where are we? How did we get here? And where do we go next? You can draw your answers to those questions in the complexity versus goodness chart that's in the middle of the page. To answer that first question, where are we? You may want to start by assessing the complexity of your design, because that's usually a pretty easy assessment to make. If the thing you're working on does not have a lot of parts, it'll be on the low end of the spectrum. If it does have a lot of parts, it'll be higher up. Then, think about how good it is. At this stage of the project, does it provide little value, a lot of value, or something in between? How close is it to being done? More specifically, how close is it to providing a capability or functionality that a customer or recipient would find useful? How much of the necessary information is included? Is the presentation both clear and complete? So place a dot, a circle, or a cloud on the chart to indicate the project's general location. Don't worry about being super precise. It isn't that kind of tool. Now, sometimes looking at where we came from helps us see where we are and where we should go next. So look back on the work so far. Have we primarily been adding new features, functions, and parts? If so, then complexity is almost certainly going up. If we've been incorporating feedback from users and customers, then hopefully goodness is improving. So we may want to draw an arrow that points at our current location and shows the latest trajectory. And once we have a sense of where we are, we move on to the third question. Where do we go from here? It may make sense to continue adding things if the design is still largely incomplete and we have obvious blank spaces. Or it might be time to start removing things. So draw a line from your current location in the direction you should head next, bearing in mind that goodness should be increasing. The slope of that line will tell you whether to use additive or reductive design methods. Okay, below the complexity and goodness axes, you'll find another fill in the blank question that simply states, Goodness is... That's a really important question. In fact, it's the question. So take a few minutes to write some words about your project's measures of merit. What are the priorities and preferences? What does value mean for this project? You may want the onboarding process to be quick, clear, and comprehensive. You may want your presentation to be informative and convincing, or entertaining and provocative. You may want your Mars rover to be robust, affordable, and ready to go when the launch window is open. Of course, goodness is not up to us, is it? The customer has a say. So as we fill in this piece, we may want to ask an actual customer for some ideas, thoughts, or feedback about what goodness means to them. And at the bottom of the chart, there are two boxes where you can make a list of recent additions, recent subtractions, and a few words about the impact of each one. Some of the additions may have a positive impact. They provide a critical function or do something else that's valuable. Other additions may have a negative impact. They increase the weight, take longer, or cost a lot. Same goes for subtractions. So use this space to keep a record of what you've done and whether it helped or not. The final line on the worksheet says, next step, add, subtract, or pause. Those are basically the three options, so circle the one you think is most appropriate to do next. Remember, you'll go through this whole cycle multiple times, so there will be several next steps. Okay, well, where do we go from here? Print out the worksheet, or several copies of the worksheet, pick up a pencil, and get to work. If you're part of a team, you may want to use this as a guide for a group discussion. Good luck, and may all your projects be elegant.